Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again, my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm wearing an unusually large hat. Uh, I was going to put some eye makeup on, but I just haven't got time to do that today. Uh, but, you know, today, like everybody else in the world, I'll be talking about Johnny Depp. So let me do the theme tune and let's react to a little bit of Johnny Deppery. Justin Hawkins Rides Again Again So, the video I'm going to react to uh, is of Johnny Depp performing as a special guest at Jeff Beck's London show at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, he left the USA, of course, uh, at the end of the defamation trial um, and appeared as a surprise guest at Jeff Beck's show in Sheffield. And he didn't return to the USA because he preferred to stay in the UK and do shows with Jeff Beck, who is, by the way, a phenomenal guitar player. Um, if you've seen my earlier episode about guitar solos when I've I made a little playlist of some of my favorites one of Jeff Beck's solos is on there it's the one that he contributed to uh, Blaze of Glory by John Bon Jovi which I think is an, uh, part, one of my all-time favorites really um, and he's he invented the gargle if you'll recall you know where you, you strike you strike a note on a strat and then you sort of just tap the um, uh, wobbly bar what's it called again the whammy wobbler the wang bar the, you know the stick the, the wobble stick tremble the tremble stick you tap the tremble stick and it goes <laughs> and it's one of the few that can actually make a strap purr well he no, actually there's loads of people that can do that now but he's one of the people that pioneered that technique and and obviously um jeff beck is a legend there is a he is rumored to be the man that uh, christopher guest was channeling um when he was when he came up with the character of nigel tufnell it's perfect 1959 uh, you know it just you can uh, listen how much is just this? listen for a minute I'm the not, sustain listen to it i'm not hearing anything you would though if it were playing so he's a legend an actual legend people throw that word around like it's um But it's not one of those things. Um, it's the highest accolade a guitar player can achieve to be widely regarded as a legend. Um, and he is that. Um, but, you know, when it comes to playing guitar, I don't think Johnny Depp's any slouch either. I mean, he started off as a guitar player, didn't he, before he before he went off to become Hollywood heartthrob. Um, and I think he... Uh, I've played with him actually, uh, played with him in Glasgow. There's probably a photograph available of that somewhere um, at the Glasgow Arena. I've played with the uh, Hollywood Vampires. Um, he's a very good guitar player, you know, he's, he has the prowl, he likes to command his area of the stage, um, wears all of the adornments and finery and plays plays a mean rock and roll guitar. What more could you ask for? I suppose some people uh, are sort of assuming that because... I, I, think, I reckon the jealous ones would probably go, well, he's a Hollywood movie star. He just wants to be a guitar player, doesn't he? Like, uh, like all of them. There's probably some truth in that, but, you know, he started off as a guitarist, so he's kind of legit. I think he's legit. Yes, he's legit. Here we go. Look, here's some background information. Johnny's mother gave him a guitar when he was 12 and he began playing in various bands. Dropped out of school at 16 to become a rock musician. In 1980, he began playing in a band called The Kids. And after modest local success in Florida, the band moved to Los Angeles in pursuit of a record deal, changing its name to Six Gun Method. Which, uh, how would you, that's too, well, it doesn't matter. Um, the Kids split up before signing a record deal in 84. And then Depp began collaborating with the band Rock City Angels. But of course, he was doing all the acting stuff by then. And the other side of his career took off. Um, but I think when he's doing stuff like appearing with uh, Jeff Beck, it's him returning to his first love. And um, when else would you do that uh, other than at the end of uh, a really grueling, unflinching public recounting of a dysfunctional relationship that ended in defamation and defecation and all that horrible stuff that they've been talking about uh, it's just it's just nice to see him back on stage isn't it let's have a watch and see what it's like see jeff beck's guitar playing is beautifully understated he's he's so versatile as a as a guitarist but i know we're not talking about jeff beck necessarily but he is if you're gonna if you're gonna 
make a triumphant return to the stage having suffered in the way that Johnny Depp has, you can do a lot worse than um, a special guest appearance at a Jeff Beck show. Also, a pioneer of the hybrid sort of technique is a, is a fingy picky, but you don't always it doesn't always sound like one of those. Um, all the great guitarists like your Joe Perry's and all the all these guys, uh, you know, the next sort of generation of the legendary lead players, they all look to Jeff Beck. They all say, "Oh, <laughs> this is the guy." In fact, um, when we were on tour with the Hollywood Vampires, a really funny thing happened. Is like. The two bands kind of, but with the exception of um, Tommy Henriksen, who was always in our dressing room hanging out, he's a great guy. Everyone kept themselves to themselves until the day that Jeff Beck came along to a show. And um, and Jeff Beck knows our drummer, Rufus Tiger Taylor, really well. So he was hanging out in our dressing room, which meant all of the Hollywood vampires were suddenly hanging out in our dressing room. And it was it was a good laugh, you know, it was, it was really funny stuff. But um, it was really interesting to watch the dynamic between Jeff Beck and Joe Perry, because you could tell that Joe Perry revered him so immensely, he kind of almost lost himself a little bit and was and was super excited that he was there and it sort of affected the way Joe Perry played on the night. He was overplaying and playing more. And you could tell he was trying to impress him a little bit. And it's just wonderful to see people who have had that sort of career still blown away by the presence of an actual legend. An actual legend. That's who he is, you know? And then <laughs> the really funny thing happened at the end of the night, which um when the the tour bus with the Hollywood vampires on it left and as the tour bus was leaving, Jeff Beck was still hanging out with us. And he decided to moon the passing tour bus. And this 75-year-old man took his trousers down and showed the Hollywood vampires his ass. It was wonderfully uh, irreverent. And one of the reasons why Jeff Beck is an all-time rock star. He's, a, he's one of the originals. And uh, it's amazing that he's still around and still playing like that as well. At 77, you'd expect his fingers to slow up a little bit. But no, look at him go. Love his hairstyle as well. I forgot to... Introduce this guy. He came knocking on my uh, dressing room door about five years ago, and uh, we haven't stopped laughing since. What? <laughs> Here he is, man. Good mate. Where is he? He's here. And here comes Johnny with his uh, a loaded six string on his front this time. You can literally hear people saying, oh my God. I always find it difficult to play an acoustic live in that situation because you've got that, you see how it's plugged in through the, the sort of, uh, it goes in through here. And then there's a, a weird sort of pickup thing on the inside. They usually block out the hole to sort of prevent extra feedback and stuff like that, extraneous things. But it's very difficult, I think, to get an authentic sounding acoustic timbre out of a thing like that. So he's on a sticky wicket, as we say in England, um, already, I think. It's, it's not, not easy to pull this sort of thing off. But he's, he's played it perfectly and it sounds great. This is a song for Miss Heather Lamar, the race by the same one who made her a star. His, his voice is really distinctive, isn't it? It's sort of effortless and it just sounds like his accent. It sounds like he's kind of half singing, half talking. And the people love it. The people love it. Yeah, his voice is great. It's, it's roaring. and it's, it's Johnny Depp roaring at the Albert Hall. What more do you want? He looks more like a rock star than most of us do. As I reflect on this uh, train station, um, something else occurred to me as well. When um, one of the witnesses in the defamation trial uh, did say, said something like um, that Johnny Depp's uh, erstwhile, erstwhile spouse was um, a bit frustrated because his friends would come over and it would just be like some old men playing guitars. And I remember thinking at the time, that's probably Jeff Beck she's talking about, <laughs> you know? Jeff Beck playing in the living room. Some people are never happy, are they? Right, nice one.
She told me she didn't like hanging out in his house with his friends because it, it was boring and they were all old men playing guitars and it wasn't interesting to her. Did you hear that gargle? It's fucking awesome. So I'm actually going to say that... Oh my God, I'm going to say something outrageous here. Jeff Beck is the greatest living strat player. Who's better? Who's actually better in this moment? Tell me. Afraid of everyone Afraid of the sun Mm, Johnny's really giving it something beautiful in this. His voice is great. Pitching's really good. The delivery's varied in intensity. He looks awesome. And he has the room in the palm of his hand. This is a, a great performance. It's just awesome to see him back doing what he's, what he obviously loves doing, after all that, <laughs> after that horrendous experience. Um, so yeah, welcome back, Johnny Depp. Well done. It's great stuff, and uh, definitely, I, I strongly recommend going to see a Jeff Beck show or a Hollywood Vampire show or whatever else, whatever else, wherever, wherever he might pop up. Um, I think for me, like when you when you hear Jeff Beck playing, it, it, it's just having a Hollywood movie star doing a really decent job as a, as a front man. That's just a side bonus. Go and see Jeff Beck. He's one of the greats. Um, and um, I think that's all I have to say about it. Nice one, guys. Justin Hawkins writes again. Again. to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications and watch one of these two videos see you on the ice guys lots of love to you nice one sincere apologies for the quality of this video i've had it set to low where i should have had it set to high um, normal service will be resumed forthwith uh, my producer has alerted me to the issue and uh, it will be rectified soon as possible nice one guys cheers train Mula.